It was ages ago. My head, my head was a mess. It didn't mean... Don't! Don't say it didn't mean anything. It was a mistake. It doesn't count. Yeah, all of that. So, who was it? It, 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 it doesn't matter. Someone I know? No. So who? Was it Tess? Was it? It was just a drunken, stupid... I don't want to hear it. Where are you going? Don't no, just stay. Don't just... Right, well, Adam, don't fall out with him about it. Just get on with your work, which is what I'm meant to be doing. All right, I'll see you later. There you are. I wanted to run some meeting dates past you. You okay? <sighs> yeah, I'm fine. Has something happened? Do you know one day the answer to that will be no, but there's always some that. Go on. <sighs> Bremner. Even behind bars, he's just making life hard for Adam. He's been sending these posts like off the business now. Imran's having a go at him about it. Tell you the truth, I think Adam's more upset about it than he's letting on. Right. Stuff the meeting dates. I'm going to make you a decent cup of coffee. I'm going to field all the calls. I have a quiet ten minutes in the office. You're an angel. I can't keep talking to your answer phone. Will you, will you please ring me back? Jack. You OK? You're crying. Is it the hearing? <sighs> It'll be OK. They'll say yes to the adoption. Well, you, you shouldn't get your hopes up because they could still decide that I'm not right to be a mum. You know, and I've, I've done stuff that could mess everything up. In the past, though, we'll persuade him. You're my mum anyway. A judge can't change that. I'm here we're expecting the Queen. <laughs> you don't expect the Queen, you just smell the fresh paint and poof, there she is. There'll be no smell of fresh paint. No, only the aroma of a well-structured Malbec, blackberry overtones drifting across the receptors of your tongue. I ain't got no receptors on my tongue. You've been watching those conspiracy things again. He thinks he's so funny. Well, I have receptors, and they are positively oscillating with anticipation. <laughs> oh, let's crack on, then. Uh, don't touch that. We're going to try them in order and then put our comments on the tasting sheets. <sighs> sure know how to suck the fun out of a booze up. Steve, it's not a booze up. It's an educational experience. Can you try and take it seriously? Well, cork or screw top, because I have brought Gladys. Woo! <laughs> My hairy pity on cork and tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> Goodness. Expecting a delivery? Oh, um, oh, don't look. It's a surprise for you. That's if we can have a sneaky little work break this evening. Sounds intriguing. I'm the boss. We can do what we like. Great. I mean, I know it's a little risky on a weeknight, but uh, I hope you'll join in the spirit of it. <laughs> and I've ordered you a new brazier, especially. Oh. Yeah. Uh, anyway, you get yourself off to the, uh, the restaurant and I'll get everything ready. Right. Shall we see what the machinists say before we order any more? Might be too thin. Oh, I thought it was another text. What does he say in his text? Oh, um, honestly, it's not even worth talking about. Oh, come on, I'm on your side. What's he saying? He just keeps trying to draw me into a conversation. I'm just ignoring him. Let me see. No. What, don't you trust me? Uh, yeah, of course I do. I just... Well, just... then don't let me fight you for it. I just think you shouldn't really get involved. But I am involved, I'm mate. So yeah. Hey. Hey. I was just um 
Disgusting fabric samples. You're not gossiping or anything, are you? Can I borrow your key? I'm gonna work from home today. I forgot, man. Not falling out with him, man, are you? No. I'm just best working from home today. Been a tricky day. You had a new post from Bremner? Not yet. But good to know that I've given you girls something to talk about. See ya. Sorry. Don't. He's used to his moods. He's going to be in the fall one all night now. Because mm, of him, man. No, because I'm talking to you about non-work stuff. It's fine. If he doesn't like it, it's tough. just drove off. Will you call him, Sal, and tell him to come home? You did tell him that. I didn't want you to keep it from him, didn't you? Well, you start fretting about what he's thinking about you. I need your help. He, he hates me. Well, he'll come back when he's ready. I can't, I can't just stand here waiting to find out what he's thinking. I need to know now. Well, he's going to be angry, obviously. But you're not going to stop him feeling like that, are you? But over time, things will settle down. No, he, he just he needs to understand that it was just a stupid, stupid... Stupid mistake. Well, he will, eventually. Not if I can't tell him. Kevin has done worse things. Look, just give him time. Why am I so... so flaming me? It's the best thing that's ever happened to me. These last few months that I've been lost without him and now I'm just going to shove it all back in his face. It's Kevin. Right, so it's uh, shake kebab, chili sauce, uh, no lettuce, more chips wrapped. And the other one? What other one? I ordered two. I paid for two and all. Are you sure? Uh, I've got six quid change out of 20. I explain that. All oh, right. Another one coming up? Yeah, well, it'll be cold by then, won't it? Just shows you the workers know and the managers now now. Couldn't agree more. Do you want me to sort that? I don't need your help, Tar. Well, if you want your tea tonight, you might. All right, so, uh, so what, are you coming back? Well, I could, but you don't deserve me. Listen, I don't understand what the problem is, OK? Look, I, said, I, said, I said I was sorry about getting it wrong about her. OK, I bought her gifts, I bought her flowers. Did you offer a pay rise? No! No! Well spotted! All right. 50p an hour. A quid. 75. A quid. 80. Yeah, all right, a quid! Done. Thank you. Right, I'll have that one, and I'll get you two more at the same temperature. And how about some large chips on the house? Two sachets of ketchup and you're on. Sorted! Right, it's called Compo, Dev. That's if you want me back. Here, I mean. You're still not forgiving? Mum, you're being ridiculous. Nobody takes on a ten-year-old unless they think it's for the best. You could move here. Help how it goes it that way. I have a business. I'm not arguing with you anymore, Izzy. I've got to go. You. You all right? My flaming daughter. Izzy, yeah? Honestly, you'd think of were kidnapping Joseph, not offering him a safe place to get the love and support he needs. Daughters. You know, you look like you could do with a Quantro. <laughs> I'm not sure why you think that's the answer. Uh, I'm kidding. I've got to go and pop in on Chesney. Tell him what's going on. No, no, of course. Hey. <laughs> How long have you known? I told her to tell you. I heard you say you'll keep a sordid little secret. It's not her fault. Oh, you're here. You two sat plotting now to manage all this, are you? Oh, no, she's upset. She loves you. You're very lucky to have her. Lucky? We can get through this. But you've done worse than you've got through it. I've done worse? No, I'm, what I mean... Oh, is this through you? To get back at me, is it? No. But what she means is we can sort this. Says who? This isn't about the past. It's here and now. So tell me, how long did it go on for? Did it start before we got married or after? But if you let me talk to you, I'll explain. What's happened? Go back in the house, Jack. Tell me, why are you arguing? Some of the... I've upset your dad. Done what? <sighs> this is such a mess. It don't matter what, but it just means that things are difficult now. 
Stop being mean. Me? Tell her it's OK. It's not OK, and that's my fault. I've not been right since I lost Seb, and I'm, I'm trying to... Jack, go and pack a bag. It's packed. Then go and call on one of your mates for a bit. I'm not having you using that against Jack. Using that? Me saying that I've lost my son? Yeah, and I did everything I could to be with you through it. I know. But it wasn't enough. It's not an excuse. But it's true. I lost my mind. I messed up. I know it's going to take time for you to trust me again, but I... So who's that? Oh, no one. It's work. No one as in Tez or Sally checking who said what or a drug dealer? Some other random bloke? No. How do we know? It was once a one-off and I regretted it immediately. And the, the things you asked me, it, it was before we were married. Look, it was after the trial. I wasn't thinking straight or feeling straight. So I just I wrote it off as a bad dream. Look, you, you can trust me here, look. Look, that call, it was, from, it was from the past place. I was chasing a cylinder all day yesterday. Check it. I can't live like this. Look, keep me phone. I'll unlock it. Do whatever it is you need to do. But, look, I... I will not let you down again. Just, you've just... You've got to let me prove it to you. <sighs> no way! I only came to give you your hoodie back. Oh, right. That right, my bad. See, look, I, I thought that it might... Ju ju just might be an excuse for us to see each other. Um, do, do you even like fizzy wine? Uh, I've, got, I've got some lemonade, if you want me to top it up. <laughs> Just think of everything, then, why don't you? Uh, yeah, I have, actually. And what are those? Hey, if you don't believe I've changed, and what hope have I got? The lozenges, yeah, throat sweets. I don't know, and you sent your text that your throat was still a bit sore, and I thought, well, uh, this might sting a bit, might not it? But let's just press the restart button. Let's just go away and get some space. You don't have to forgive me, not yet. I'll, um, I'll sleep in a tent or somewhere. But you know, we could just be together, miles away from all of this, just us and Jack. And then maybe we can start talking just bit by bit, not all at once. Like some waves crashing over us and we can't breathe. I don't know. Then you and you and Jack go. We'll let things settle and then we'll, we'll talk when you get back. How long did it go on for? Which has? No, oh, it, it was a one-off. I swear, I was drunk. I didn't ask for excuses. You know that I've always messed up everything good. Until I met you. And I'm, now I'm better at everything. This was just like a relapse into all ways, but now I'm back. I'll not, I'll not go there again. You have to let me prove it. Do I? Doesn't any bit of you want to try and sort this out? <laughs> I don't know. I can't think straight with you here. You need to leave me alone. Okay, and um, and then and come back, come on holiday. Don't come on holiday. Look, I don't know. If I've gone, then me and Jack have gone on our own. Okay, but if the if the camper van's still here, then that means I'm coming with you, yeah. Just give me a chance, Kev. Brazier. Yeah, well, I know a fire pits are the thing, but, you know, I know how to handle one of these. I thought you'd ordered underwear for me. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, that, that, come on, Yasmin, I'd never do that. No, for, 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 forget it, forget it. I, I need to get my ears soon. <laughs> it's, it's lovely. Let me, let me pay to order it. 
Oh, no, 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 don't be daft. It's just a, it's an old drum from a washing machine. I found it in a skip. Mm. A mate of mine dropped it off in his van for me. Ah. But that's not what this evening's about. This is. Now, you may be very surprised, but I've got a very good palate for a street dog. I, um, I do have glasses. Oh, no, 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 it's, um, it's much better from these, you know, kind of helps it breathe more. Mmm. Ah. Mmm. That is smooth. Very, very nice. Who knew you were such an expert? <laughs> Where's it from? Devs. You see, when you know wines like I do, you can spot a nice bottle nestled in the corner shop. <laughs> it's like finding an antique in a junk shop. No, I, I meant, I meant, where in the world? Is it Italian? Yes, yeah, it's um, Italian. <laughs> it's, um, anyway, cheers. Mmm. Cheers, cheers. <laughs> Paint stripper. How dare you? You said that about the... Oh, no, it was to... Try it, Tracy. Has Jenny put you up to this? Jenny? Yeah, because she was winding me up. Believe me, I wouldn't put myself through it. Ooh. See? I don't believe this. My dad paid a lot of money for this wine. Well, more fool him. You've done something. Because it was you that brought the box. How dare you? The hostess was unpalatable and rude, too. Right, that's it. I've had enough. Out, both of you. Oh, with pleasure. I'm sure I have a nice bottle of something at home. Oh, can I come? Of course, Stephen. Come along, Gladys. Hey there. So how'd it go with Chesney? Well? You just followed me? No, I'm just uh, just getting some change. I haven't noticed you heading in here. Because someone left the till low on float. Mm. Can I get you that drink, Mary? Yeah. Um, I'm sorry I was short with you earlier. Oh, he likes short women. He likes tall women, blonde women, brunettes, greys. In fact, if he scores you, that's two consecutive Grammys. I reckon he's got a sticker book. Oh. And I'm sure I left enough change in the till. Yeah, you're also sure that Beth had only ordered one kebab. So as soon as Jenny cashes this, I'll be gone. Look, I know you think I'm some wicked witch, but all I care about is Joseph. And being a grandmother is the most important thing in my life. He's my flesh and blood. Oh. Oh, you're pulling the flesh and blood card now, are you? Well, I've been here grilling his fish fingers and putting plasters on his knees, but no, you, you go ahead and pull rank. I'd love a drink. Is there another pub? Of course. I really don't want you to fall out of your family. Mine fell apart what, years ago, and it's, uh, it's rough. I don't want to stop seeing you, though. Me neither. I better get going. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. It's not fair. Look, look, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to push you. What if, you know, it's a secret? My family don't have to know. Uh, look, it's your call, Amy. What do you want? You. Hey, hey, that's my jumper. Hey, <laughs> Well, I guess you'll just have to come and get it off me then. Yeah. Again mm. and again. And again. Yeah. yeah.
Come on. Who's being controlling? You are being controlling. You're telling me who I can't be friends with. Why should I have to choose between you and Lydia? I can be friends with who I like. Hurry up, Jack. I'll, I'll go and pack some stuff. It'll only be two minutes, cos you'll be driving all night at this rate. You're not coming. But you said if the camper van was... No. Fast. You said. And you can hardly judge someone for not keeping the word. So why did you... What's happening? I wanted to say something to you before we went away. OK. It can't work. No, it can, Kev. I swear, I will do everything You would I can. not have cheated on me if things was all right with us. No, that's Look, not true. Look, let me speak. Things are not right. Maybe they never was. But I can't do this to Jack. Lurching from crisis to crisis. So me and him are going away, and when I get back, I want you gone. Gone? For good. It's over. And why not head over to ITV Hub and get stuck into the full series of new drama No Return, available to watch now. Still to come tonight, the chilling true crime case of serial killer Peter Sutcliffe. We've all new Yorkshire Ripper, The Secret Murders, next. <laughs>